Hello, hello. Welcome hello. to Meet the Leaders. We've got our very own Irene Lopez with us. How are you doing, Irene? Good. How are you? Hello. Hey, for those of you that don't know Irene, she's our newest member of the management team here in Orange County in our region, and she was brought on to help us open up a branch in Huntington Beach. We're excited to have you. I'm excited to be here. Can't wait. So what is, is this like week three? Uh, yeah, I think it is like week three. And yeah. What is that in mortgage years? Does it feel <laughs> like a year? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. It feels like I've been here a year, but oh all good gosh. stuff. All great stuff, actually. I know. Well, I know you have a few people started, some more in the hopper, so it's getting off yeah. the ground, which is great. Um, hey, but for those of uh, the people that are out there that don't know you, like, uh, how about give us a little bit of your background, and then I want to hear what's, you know, my favorite question, what sets you apart as a leader, and what gets you excited all the time, so maybe we'll go yeah. there next. Well, let's see. Let's talk about business side, Irene, for a moment. Uh, gosh, I've been doing this, what, 22 plus years at this point? Just a few. Um, just a few. Yeah, just been doing this for a few years. Yeah, so 20 plus years. And um, I've worked in multiple capacities of the business. So um, I always say I kind of consider myself a little bit of an anomaly. I'll give myself a pat on the back. Yes, you are. <laughs> and the reason I guess I say that is just usually you'll see leaders that will go either into a strictly operational type role or, you know, sales originations. And um, for me, the early, the early part of my career kind of was more of like a sales ops uh, role. And then over the last, you know, 10 years has been more of like the sales originations role. So I kind of have that, you know, I kind of wear both caps. You That's going to be great though. Cause I mean, you know, you get to help your loan officers, you know, make sure the pipeline, like all that operational experience. I mean, that has to be a huge asset for you, right? Oh, absolutely. I can't even tell you. Um, the best thing that anyone's ever told me is you're never going to get that loan done. You're never going to close that loan. <laughs> I'm like, oh, let's just roll up the sleeves. Watch me. <laughs> just watch me get it done. So um, those are like, that's like music to my ears. Like, I mean, you never get that loan done. Like a challenge. Um, yeah, it's like a challenge. Exactly. And um, so that, that, that's like I said, that's like music to my ears. Like, tell me I can't do something and then just watch me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. So as far as like leadership goes, like what, what uh, sets you apart as a leader, a sales leader in mortgage? And then what do you do to stay on top of your game? Well, I would say, I think what sets me apart personally, um, I know this may sound weird, but it's like human, like I'm still human. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, you know, as a mortgage, as a sales mortgage leader, it is your job to, to help your team grow. It's your job to, to make them better, to be better, to do more business, um, you know, talk to them about their goals, you know, and from a business perspective, right? That's, that's, that should be a given. We should already be doing that. Um, and when I say by being human is I also want to know where your personal goals are. You know, uh, I, I like to. I like to connect with people. I want to know what's important to them personally. You know, I'm not saying I don't want to be nosy. I don't want to know <laughs> everything about your life, but I want to know what you want to do. You know, I have people on my team that say, hey, you know, I want to purchase a house this year. I want to purchase a home this year for my family, you know, for themselves. You know, they've been, they're doing loans, but they also want to buy a home for them. And having that openness and that communication with my team where they say, I want you to look at my financials. Can you help me? You know, how do I pre-qualify? What's the best program for me? even for them personally. So having that trust and that openness and, you know, they're writing offers for property. They're like, Hey, look at this offer for me. You know, what's your thought? I want to know what you think about it. Um, so not only, I feel like not only am I, you know, helping you with your business, but I also want to know what you're trying to accomplish personally for yourself. So, you know, they're not, um, my team, they're not numbers to me. They're, they're, they're people, right. Then that's how I feel like if I portray that to them, um, then that's how they're going to look at their clients. Their clients are yeah. not just numbers. Their clients are, you know, real people, real life happens. Don't treat, don't treat them as client A, client B, you know, client A has a name. So I feel as though if I deliver that to my team, that's exactly how they're going to run their business as well. No, I and, totally agree. I mean, Zig Ziglar, this quote, and it's so old, but it's like, you, you get everything out of life you want if you help other people get what they want. Yeah. You know, and that, I think the way you, Everybody's got business goals. I want to do this much volume, but it's all tied to like personal. They're doing it because they want to buy a home, you know, save up for vacation, you know, invest, whatever it is that they want to do. But so you, I bet you're so much more effective as a leader being able to help them with the why. Because when, when stuff comes up, you get to also kind of help bring them back to, hey, let's remember why we're doing this. 
Exactly. Yeah, it, everything comes full circle. Exactly yeah. to that point, right? You know, we we work to to accomplish some of the, some of those personal goals, and I'm very invested in the business aspect of it, but I'm also very invested in, in what what drives you personally, because I think that's the key factor of being successful in your business. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, it's mm -hmm. such a relational business that that has to be a, a massive priority. Um, hey, so as you design, like I think what's cool for you in this opportunity is you get to design what you know, we do in Huntington around what you see as possible, like where, as you think about adding more people to the team over time, like, are there certain things you're looking for outside of, you know, the normal purchase focused, you know, culture fit relational people? I don't mean to like sound no, you know, corny with that, but that seems to be, you know, those yeah. boxes have to be checked. Absolutely. Yeah. When you think about, um, yes, North, North OC, I mean, I mean California is a melting pot, right? So, but we, from, from just, a uh, a more segmented perspective, right? When we're talking about North OC is, is exactly that. It's a melting pot. It's very multicultural. So, um, you know, we get a lot of uh, great opportunity to meet, you know, good customers, good, good clients and learn about them personally and their financial goals. But then also, you know, we get to kind of learn about other people's culture. Um, so that's, that's the neat part about it as well. And that's kind of how I picture Huntington to be, you know, very, very diverse, multicultural. And, um, you know, there's a lot of, there's different types of originators. I've worked with some great top producers, uh, in, in, you know, throughout the years, but I'm really looking for a loan officer that is, that is teamwork. You know, people say, you know, what, what are you really looking for? Well, teamwork, collaborate, share ideas. You know, there's enough, there's enough to go around for everybody, you know, and when, when I think about those top producers, that's, that's kind of one of their, their, their common trait, right? Yeah. They're willing to open up and talk about how, you know, how they do business you know, how they've expanded their business. So that's kind of, I know it sounds very cliche, you know, we're looking for a team player, but that's, there's, there's, that rings truth to a lot of things, you know, of how that's going to drive the culture to, to a branch. And yeah. You got to be protective of it too. Cause it's, I mean, we've all worked with people that are great producers, but hard on ops or not good kind of collaborators or, you know, stir the pot in the office. And that's, nobody needs that. I would say you, know, you want to work on your strengths, right? Definitely. Yeah. We all have strengths. Let's work off, I'll work off our strengths and we all have gaps and maybe that the person, there's a person in the branch that could help you fill that gap. So that's, that's kind of how, how, how would I kind of envision what I'd like Huntington Beach to look like? Yeah, I agree with you too. I think the North Orange County market, it's so much more diverse than a lot of areas in other parts of Orange County. And it's just such a great opportunity, you know, to get the right people that are tied to different communities or cultures and kind of build a, an eclectic group of people that cover all the bases. Exactly. Exactly that. Yeah. And you get a lot of great food. You know, you get to try a lot of different great food. <laughs> <laughs> that never, that's never a bad thing. Yeah. You get, a lot of, you get, a to, get to try a lot of great food out there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, outside of the team and the market, like, is there anything you're particularly excited about for the, over the next 18 months with kind of taking on this role and what you're setting out to do? Uh, I think just the evolution of it, you know, seeing it all kind of come full circle, the evolution of it. Um, I literally have visions in my mind of what it's going <laughs> to, what, what the, what the end game, is, you know, what I want the end game to look like, right. What I, what I'm hopeful for it to look like. Um, so I'm excited to just, just go on the journey and, and, and evolve with it, you know, and, you know, just like anything else, there's going to be bumps in the road and that's okay. I, I have a great team of leaders here that are amazing support, like yourself. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every, hey, you've got a lot of fans here, obviously, and a lot of partners do this. So it's not just you, but, you know, it's great having you lead the charge. And with all your time in that market, especially, it's going to be, it's going to be really fun to see it evolve. I agree with you. Yeah, I think I'm just really excited about that, just the evolution of it and talking to people and meeting new people, you know, people that are better passionate about what they do and, and want to continue to do that and and grow that and be a part of it. I think just being a part of their journey, um, that in itself just is rewarding for me. So selfishly, Huntington Beach is also called Surf City USA. It is. I don't know anything about surfing, but are, are surfers, is there room for surfers in the culture of the branch if they do good business? Because I mean, I might try to talk to some surfers if they're good originators up there. And we'll take some surfers. Meeting. Absolutely, we'll take some surfers. Definitely. 
the surfer food is like breakfast burritos and like quick food because you're getting out of the water and you got to go to work usually absolutely yeah yeah <laughs> but you know the best spots to eat that's the thing right the quick cheap places that's usually like on your way out you know button yourself up get into the office <laughs> yeah i'm a little bit of a foodie so yeah there you go <laughs> hey so outside of the the mortgage business you know who's irene outside of you know the daily recruiting and op stuff and sales leadership what do you like doing and uh wow i so i'm a mom right so i'm a mom and a wife i have uh, been married for 20 plus years and um i have three kids i have a daughter and two boys and, uh, you know, I was, I was born in the city of West Covina, California. So obviously I'm an LA County girl. So I'm a huge LA fan in terms of the Dodgers and the Lakers and the Kings. So great teams. Yeah. All <laughs> They're of them. amazing teams, all of them. So I'm a, I'm a big sports fan. Um, so I, I, I enjoy all of that. I enjoy, I definitely enjoy all of that stuff, you know, and um, what else? Let's see things that I enjoy doing. So I'm really big into science fiction. We had a brief conversation about this, you know, a big Star Wars fan, huge Star Wars fan. <laughs> See, I like it. Oh, it burns, it's so hot. See, I'll show you mine. I'll show you my little, this is the, this is the guy that hangs out with me throughout the day while I'm working. That is so awesome. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge, uh, huge Star Wars fan, big on science fiction. So I enjoy, I enjoy all of that, you know. Needless to say, Star Wars land is like my favorite part, obviously, of Disneyland. <laughs> uh -huh. I know what are... else? Why wouldn't it be, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Catch the sword still talking. Um, well, I know we're all excited to have you here. And even in your third week, we're already doing some great things. It'll never be fast enough, but I, I think you're going to be really proud of where we end up next year. I mean, it's yeah. off to the right start. And, you know, you've got a lot of support and we're all, you know, working hard to make sure that we, we don't let you down either. Um, it's a great opportunity for everybody. So. Yeah. For those of you who don't know Irene, you know, maybe this is a little insight outside of the business talk we'll have if, you know, you spend up, spend any time, you know, recruiting and talking to people about how we do loans and all the other stuff. But I'm really excited to work with you and appreciate you, you know, going on the journey with us. I know there's a lot of, you know, uh, uncertainty and change, but yeah. I think you're going to do awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited just to be on, to be on the journey and be a part of the team. Um, so yeah, more to come. Team Huntington Beach, let's go. Heck yeah. All right. Well, I know the office space is, uh, you guys are looking at stuff next week too. So we are we'll a physical are. location and something that you can kind of have people in congregating and just kind of plant that flag that we'll grow into. Yep. Yep. Excited to see those, that, that space. We've had some, we have a couple picked out, so um, we'll be doing that next week. So more to come on that. I love it. All right. So again, for those of you that don't know, Irene is our, probably know because we've said it twice, Branch manager, new Huntington Beach office, and look out Huntington Beach, we're coming at you. That's right. Thank you. All right. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Talk to you soon.